indeed we're at it. Green, 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 and a great jump for Oliver Askew. Not a bad jump from the outside uh, for the 22 of Calvin Ming either. They'll work their way down into one. You can see Askew down to the bottom of the racetrack. He'll go to defense. This is where the outside run comes. You can run the bottom. Kalen Frederick way to the outside to try to get a run. He'll come across the bow. Clean so far. The curbing on the inside of one, always treacherous, Jerry. We've seen issues. The number 90 already in the pits. That yep. is championship contender Parker Thompson. Was a winner here last year, Jerry, already in the pit lane. He came off, as a matter of fact, as, as the two by two by were coming toward the start finish line, he pulled into the pits. Obviously, some kind of an early problem. Yeah, I was able to sense something on the warm up laps. Those laps, and something was not right for Parker Thompson. We'll see if he gets back out onto the racetrack in time to maybe get to the tail of the field and he'll cross his fingers for a yellow. But nonetheless, we are underway. It looks exactly like what we saw at Barber Motorsports Park just a, a few weeks ago as Oliver Askew now leading Kalen Frederick as they come through. Oh, contact for a couple drivers further back. It looks like one of the DE Force cars. We have contact over in turn number seven. That's the exit of turn seven at the end of Hull Hullman Boulevard. And a couple drivers. And again, that's not surprising. That's another place where they stack up coming into that corner. Looks like the number 34, Bailey Mickler, involved as well, Jerry. So again, Thompson in pit lane, Bailey Mickler and involved all, as well as the 27 of Colin Kaminsky. Mickler's going to stop. You can see big damage to the right front of that car. 